Okay, I'm back on the mainframe and uh, yet again, sorry for the loud environment. Um, I turned it on today, I was uh, planning to do uh, some updates to the IOCDS and uh, would you look at that, we have a failed auto drive. You see there is no uh, green light like the other one and the other one is going at full speed, in fact it's really hot. So uh, I thought, well, why don't I use this occasion to do a hot swap because I've never done it on a mainframe. So I've just loaded the um, repair information, it's telling me to wear um, uh, ear and eye protection, which let's pretend I did, of course I don't. Let's see what do we need to do. Uh, okay, so it's guiding me on what should I do. Well, I don't have uh, the frame ruggedization. I mean, they're bare, they don't even have covers, so uh, we've done that. Uh, I need to swing out the gate. Well, no, I don't really have to because it's uh, it's down there, so we can keep it uh, like this. Uh, why do I need the trim? Well, it, it tells me to, to take off the um, the FTS, which is actually already been removed. I actually don't have one, so we can keep next. Okay. Yeah, they don't want me to remove these cables because it gets really mad if I touch them. We are going to skip that. Okay, service action starting. Uh, so, location is C01, um, BMDA1, which is correct, that's a C-frame, uh, BMDA1. The bar number is 41U0341 and a new FRU is required. Well, I just so happen to have uh, a replacement, which is uh, MDA, and it's part number, yeah, 41U0341. This actually has already been replaced once, and it's date code uh, G6. So it uh, should be uh, in good working order. So we're gonna say that, yes, we have a new FRU available. So, uh, the FRU is selected for exchange, which is this one here, so we're going to click next. So, I have no idea what it's doing now, but I think I, I should just be able to remove it and uh, plug it back in. Or maybe I, I should have already installed it. Okay, so it's deactivating, but it's already broken, so there's not much to do. I mean, I think a repair procedure of something so simple is gonna take forever on a mainframe, but uh, we're gonna do it live, so. <laughs> okay, expected time is two minutes. Uh, I'm gonna skip a few steps and I'm gonna start uh, loosening the screws which are right there yeah it's crazy tight as expected so I'm gonna set you here for a second while I fight with the screws hang on yeah Okay, uh, it's still thinking about it, but I've got the screws loosened up, so uh, but, uh, we also have a bit of a mess going on around here, what is all this stuff? Uh, these are uh, plugs for uh, S-Con, which are probably should go in here, so I'm just gonna plug them back in. Here is broken. You're probably not seeing anything because it's quite dark. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna clip them in. So 
the dust doesn't get uh, inside the connector. It's amazing that they're still here after being uh, moved around so many times. Okay. So let's get another one. Alrighty. So, okay. That's nice, it's telling me that uh, this is the location, which is correct. Is the MDA indicator off? It is, because it's, uh, of course it's broken. So we're gonna say that uh, it is. So, uh, inspect the connectors, so uh, if you plug in the will be the damage found. Okay, uh, yeah, next. Okay, so. I'm going to need an ESD kit, let's pretend I have it, and I need a torque screwdriver, which I have one, I don't know if it's the correct one. Yeah, it's the 41B 1059, that's exactly what I need. Fantastic. So, um, okay, so I've obtained all the tools, we're going to click next. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes, the kit, whatever. Let's uh, pretend we are compliant. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect uh, the UPIC cable. Use the position inside the cables. Do not disconnect now. Glass over here is a very good connector. Okay, so we're gonna disconnect uh, the two cables, which are this one here. Uh, of course, power is being is uh, switched off from the uh, old power switch so it's safe to handle we're gonna remove the clip hit the press the lever and off the cable comes now we've done that we're gonna click next we are going to uh, loosen the screws I've already done that so um, we are just gonna remove the screws. I'm doing this step by step, but I think that uh, some of this could have been uh, skipped. But it's really taking a long time for such uh, a simple operation. But yeah, I'm loosening the two screws. faulty one which is date coded C8 so that's actually newer um, this one here okay uh, I'm gonna skip a few steps uh, and I'm going to start getting this in so I'm gonna line it up okay get this thing connected and get the screws Okay, they're finger tight, it's, uh, it's fine. So, let's see what else we have to do now. Okay, into the tabs. We are going to reconnect uh, the cables. So, uh, the cables are labeled, as you can see, we have C01B, AMD1, P01 which then goes into J01, which is on the bottom. And we're gonna slide the clip as well. This goes right here up top. Again, actually I'm just disconnected again so you can see. It says, well, you can't see anything, but it's C01B, AMD1, B00, which goes into the J01. Which is labeled over there. So I'm just gonna plug it in. There we go. Sliding the connector cover, and we're done. Uh, I will tighten the screw later on, so it's not a problem. I'll click next. We're gonna plug the two connectors. We've already done that. Next. 
Okay, so hopefully, yeah, there we go. See, now we have, it's enabled and it's blinking, so it should be running. Let's see, it's activating. I can hear the fan starting to spin up. And uh, I think we're done. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, you know, when you're repairing a uh, million dollar machine, uh, <laughs> makes you feel very important, let's say. Oh, I heard a like rattle noise. I don't know what happened. I just heard like a, a, a click. Maybe it was like the um, the veins opening, but I don't know. Didn't make like it's, it's kind of like there is like a screw or something in the um, in the fan, which is uh, not very not very nice. But it did get quieter, so it's probably running fine now. I'm not hearing like loud noises in here. Actually, uh, while this is activating, let me draw. Let me go to the back and uh, see if we have uh, airflow at the back. Yeah, we do have uh, decent airflow here, and uh, it's. I think they're both running now. So that's uh, that's great. We actually have lots of uh, hot air coming from the. Um, these PC converters, which shouldn't be the case because there are not that many cards inside this cage. But yeah, there's definitely quite a lot of heat coming out, and yeah, this is also good. So, basically the same as uh, this one here. Of course, this is much louder because we also have the um, refrigeration unit and the two IO, which is uh, also getting quite warm and some warm air coming out of the top exhaust fan as well. Um, the top fan is on because it's also signaling a fault to the refrigeration unit. So it's still thinking about it. Uh, that is blinking happily. Uh, let me try to torque down the... Uh, the screws while it's running. Which, is, which seems a great idea. Okay, uh, I will torque them down later. I'm just gonna set, uh, I'm just gonna tighten them up for now. Uh, so it's okay. All right. So it seems like the MDA is active now, and uh, everything is fine. We'll just wait for the activation to complete. I actually have no idea why it's taking so long, but... Uh, okay, maybe we're done. Oh, we have a new problem. Haha, <laughs> oopsie! <laughs> so, let's see what's... Uh, What's broken now? Seize your set. I have no idea what that means. So the system requires service. Take max. This is starting to become fairly long. Uh, so. gonna keep the service status okay so I think we're done <laughs> uh, all righty so this is the new problem 1142 that's probably the one let's see what's wrong with it uh, okay so it's a, a lake issue I don't think there's much that needs to be known, so I don't know. We're just gonna leave it there. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Uh, the one just before, let's see what's that about. Again.
power failure what's that okay that is the uh, modular refrigeration unit that is uh, doesn't have any refriger refrigerant inside so it's not really working all that nicely it's that uh, thing here unfortunately I have the same problem on the Z9 as well so it seems to be fairly common for these to lose gas uh, after uh, after operating so unfortunately there's not that not much that I can do uh, it runs on regular Freon but I have no idea how to fill it uh, it does specify how much but again I have no idea how to fill it so yeah and this one here is probably gonna be uh, a similar thing uh, we have lots of light that that means that the um, fibers uh, are disconnected it's it's not an issue um, because of course there are lots of things that are disconnected now uh, regarding the, the original IOCDS and this one here has been delayed this is the um, motor drive that we just repaired uh, it says delayed because it wants us to fix uh, these problems here first but um, we're gonna close all problems and pretend that everything is fine so voila the machine has been repaired we have a fully working motor drive now and I can continue working on it thanks a lot for watching hope it wasn't uh, as boring as it looked and uh, hope you see you next time with the IBM Z10